Yeah, it says Murray. This also will never go away. 8.8, .8, solving systems of linear equations. Here's what you're going to do, okay? When it says solving systems of linear equations, another way it might be phrased is just linear systems, okay? That means I have two or more equations going on at the same time with the same variables. That's the key. If my equations don't have the same variables, like if one equation has an x and y and one has a p and q, I can't do anything with them. But if they both have x and y, then I can work from them. Okay? So it consists of two or more linear equations with the same variables. y equals 2x minus 4. y equals <coughs> negative 3x plus 1. This is a linear system. Okay? This right here is a linear system. They're both equations of lines because they're both um, got a y and an x in them. And then we're going to figure out what a solution of a linear system is. A solution of a linear system is two variables is an ordered pair. Meaning, okay, when I solve, I get an x and y that works for both of them. Okay? It's an ordered pair that is a solution of each equation in the system. Okay? We're going to start solving linear systems. It is a long process. You have to deal with it. Okay. When you go to solve linear systems, we're going to practice three different ones today. Okay. When you go to solve linear systems, first thing is you've got to check and make sure both equations are in y equals form so that I can graph, because that's my first step, graph. Okay. After I graph both, I'm going to figure out where do they cross, where do they intersect. And after I figure out what that point is, I have to plug that point back into both equations to make sure it works. Oh, Carter's like, dang. Uh, okay, so let's talk. How do I graph y equals 2x minus 4? Where do I start, Carter? Uh, negative 4. Yeah, negative 4. Okay, so I start at negative 4. What's my, what's my rise over run? 2, 2, Yes, up 2, over 1. And I can go up two again and over one again just to make sure my line is perfect, okay? And so I've got this line here. Now remember, I'm not on graph paper, so it's going to be a little harder for me to be perfect. You are going to use graph paper, and you are going to use a ruler tonight or a straight edge oh. to make sure you... Now listen, if you don't graph it perfectly, it's going to be harder for you. That's why you need to make sure you are accurate with it tonight, okay? So graph accurately for me, okay? Now, how do I graph y equals negative 3x plus 1? Where do I start on that one, E? One. Positive 1. What's my rise over my run? Uh, negative 3. So I'm going four. down, down three, 3, over 1. Over 1, and down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Right? Yes. Okay? So I get this. Um, well, if I could connect dots, that would help me. <laughs> So I get something like this, boom, 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 this should be like here, boom, boom, boom. okay, I get this. Where do these cross at? Right there, correct? One what? One, two, is that what it looks like? One, ne or one negative two, okay? So I graph them, now I identify the intersection. The intersection is one negative two, okay? From there, yes? So they cross exactly at 1, negative 2. 1, negative 2. From there, I have to verify it through substitution. I'm going to take 1, negative 2, and I'm plugging it back into both of these equations. This is my x, this is my y. Okay? x, y. So I'm going to plug this in up here to say negative 2 equals 2 times 1 minus 4, yeah? Okay, what happens when I do 2 times 1? 2, two and 2 minus 4 is? Two. So does negative 2 equal negative 2? Yes. yes. Now, I'm going to plug it in over here also. Negative 2 equals negative 3 times 1 plus 1. So what's negative 3 times 1? Uh, okay, so I get negative 2 equals negative 2. Now I have verified that it actually is a solution. Wait, so what do we plug in the one with? The x. And you plug it in. Okay. Negative 2 
of the negative 2 into the y. That's all you do. So you graph it, identify the intersection, verify it. What can you? You okay with that so far? Graph it, identify the intersection, and then verify it. Okay? If it verifies, you pick the right point. That's oh. why, listen, that's why graphing this on graph paper and with a ruler is important. Because if you don't pick the right point from the start, you're going to have to verify several times. Okay? Okay, look at this blue one. Now listen, I can cheat on this blue one. Let's see if you're smart enough to figure out why I, why I know what the point of intersection is. they have the same x thing. What do you mean they have the same x thing? They have the same slope, so what does that mean those lines are? So what does that mean about... The slope is the same. What would you say, Emma? They don't cross. So I have no point of intersection here. So if you're smart enough to recognize that, you don't have to do work. Okay? You can just say they're parallel. You know what I mean? Don't worry. Stop with all your fun sound effects. Okay? So I can just say. Oh, that was not me. Who's pounding right now? I wasn't pounding. That was. That was okay? So you can just say they are parallel. I was pounding, but that was my water. Which means no solution. Yeah. Because they are parallel, they will never cross. There is no solution. Now, I'm going to graph it just to show you, okay? If I graph this one, I start at positive 1, right? Down 2 over 1. So this line's going like this, right? Guys, <coughs> stop. And on this one, I start at positive 5. And I go down 2 over 1, right? And so this line once again is like this. Take your take it off. Guys, stop. Stop. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Kate, you're right. Okay, E, you have a question? Okay, so if you can recognize this from the beginning, I'm not going to force you to graph it. You can tell me they're parallel, and that means that there's no solution because they're never going to intersect. So the answer to this is no solution. The answer over here was 1, negative 2 because we graphed it, we found the point, we plugged it back in. Okay, let's talk about this one. What happens when I have this system of equations? What do I need to do first? You got to put it in uh, y equals 4. Put it in y equals 4, which is called what? There's three self-intercept, function form. Yes, good. You guys are good. Okay. Now, how do I change this equation? Uh, you, would you would do subtract minus. negative 2. Yeah, minus negative 2x, two two, right? Which would yeah. be y equals negative 2x. No, it's two negative, y equals negative y equals negative 2x minus, two two minus, two three. Two minus 3. Now what? Uh, okay. And then, then you would, would divide, uh, divide everything by 1. Negative 1, yep. Yeah. And you get y equals 2x plus 3. So here's one equation, yes? Okay, yeah. how do I change this equation? You subtract negative 4. So add, add 4x, okay? So I get 2y equals 4x plus 6. And you divide everything by 2. And you get y equals 2x plus 6. plus 3, yeah! The they are parallel. Parallel. They are parallel. Time, time out. Time out. Parallel. They're more than just parallel. What are they're they? The they're equal and same. same. They're the exactly the same. Okay. So listen. If they are the exact same equation, stop banging on stuff. If they are, yes, then then they're what, Emma? There's only one line, which means how many solutions do I have? No. Think about this. If I have this line, let's He's grab watching. it. I go to three, right? Yeah. I go up two over one. Yeah. Okay? So I graph this line here like this. Boom. If I graph this line, I start at three. I go up two over one. And I graph it right there. 
How many solutions does that make? Zero. It's like what? Infinity. Negative infinity? No, it's just I have infinite solutions because it's always going to be on top of itself. So I have infinite solutions. That's your answer. Infinite solutions. Okay? So there are three ways. There are three answers that I can get when I graph. I can get exactly one point of intersection. I can get no solution because they are parallel, or they can be exactly the same line and it can be infinite solutions. You're only going to have three possible answers. Okay? So if you have one solution, that's when we have to plug back in and double check. If I have parallel lines, I don't even have to do work if you can notice that. If they're the same line, or they graph to be the same line, because sometimes these numbers might be different, but they'll still be the same line because it could be reduced down. Okay? I have infinite solutions. Emma? Is um, no. If you're, I'm, not, I'm not going to force you to graph them if they're parallel. If they're infinite, just... I'm not going to force you to graph that either. Okay? So, yeah. But some, some of you might need to graph them from the start till we get used to it. So it depends if you can notice it or not. Okay. This is what your homework is going to be over.